Hey. We're meeting downstairs in a few minutes. We had a very productive discussion. In fact, Elder Issam shared more of his journals with me. No, these are copies I wrote to bring back with me to the Academy. That's a lot of dedication. Regardless, we discussed more on the theory of temporal rifts in the elementals, which has only strengthened my concern that we do not have enough energy. And that definitely means we need to seek out another temple. Do we have a lead on where to go? Elderism, through his research into the elements, did mention that historically, the Gaians, the people who originally worshipped the Earth Elemental, used to reside in the central woodlands of Assyria. The Kali, the people who worshipped the Wind Elemental, resided in the northern aerial plains. Therefore, it is most logical that the Earth and Wind Temple will be located in those respective regions. The Aquarians, those who worshipped the Water Elemental, depended heavily on the seas. As such, Elder Issam was unable to pinpoint where the cultural hub of their society might have been. As for Shadow, that is a complete unknown. If the Earth Temple is somewhere centrally located, then that would be the temple closest to us. The fastest way back will be to take the Crystal Rail. So, we should return to Bazada. Let's pause here and take a moment to restock. There are a few items I'd like to pick up which may be helpful. Good idea! Why don't we all make sure we have everything we need, and then meet at the Crystal Rail Station? The end of the line is Stonecrest, so that's where we should go. Once we arrive there, I'll scout around and find our next course of action. We want to reach as close to Central as possible, so traveling to the end of the Crystal Rail is a good first step. Here we are, Stonecrest. Just leave it to me. I'll ask around and see if I can come up with anything. I'll keep my eyes and ears open just in case I hear something too. You should relax and enjoy the city. I've got some contacts I'm going to reach out to, so I've got this. Oh, well, if you're sure. I already have a few ideas and leads based on some of my previous scoutings for temples and hidden relics. Okay. Then let's meet back here in a few hours to regroup. Works for me. Now that we have something of a plan, I'll be heading off. Me too.
That is Elena Vale. She was a mage knight who fought to protect her city against the advancement of Void. She was still studying at the academy to become a mage knight, but happened to be home when Void attacked. They didn't have the same type of training regimen in place back then as we do now. Normal townsfolk weren't trained or prepared to fight in a battle, and it was absolute chaos. Scouts by the gate spotted the advancement of a Void troop coming to the town, which caused panic. Elena quickly took charge and tried to calm the people down. Thinking on her feet, she asked her volunteers to help evacuate families from the city, and others to help set up barricades and defenses in town to slow down the Void advancement. Those who stayed to fight knew what the consequences would be, but Elena's unfaltering bravery rallied them. Together they found whatever they could to block off the streets and alleyways. That way, they could at least try to control where the fights happened. And then, Void entered the town. It wasn't pretty. These weren't trained soldiers, but still, they persevered for their town. Elena and a team of guards sought out the leader of Void, who was hidden in the back lines. They used hidden passageways in the town to quickly reach him, using her magic and training. She was a formidable match during the skirmish, and at one point, she even had the upper hand. When the leader realized that he may be cut down, he cowardly tried to retreat. He cast a line of shadow fire between himself and Elena, which stretched across the road. It burned both any Void followers and townsmen alike, who were caught in the crossfire. But that did not stop Elena. She leaped through the dark flames and ran her sword straight through him! It was! And a huge morale boost for anyone who witnessed it, too. Unfortunately, Shadowfire is far more deadly than regular fire. And it proves to be fatal. With the Void Leader defeated, the rest of the followers broke down and either fled or surrendered. Thanks to Elena, this town wasn't taken over. Of course! She's such an inspiration! There aren't many mage knights who are women. While Elena may not have been one of the heroes of Asaria, who defeated and ended the conflict with Void, she still made just as big an impact to the people of this town. To me, Elena embodies what it means to be a mage knight. Being a student didn't stop her. She still did everything possible to protect those who needed it. It's one of the reasons. Elena showed me that no deed is too small to make an impact on someone. As a mage knight, I get sent on missions all over Havengard. I feel like I can make more of a difference than if I were just a research mage. Plus, getting to travel around and meet new people isn't so bad. While they don't think it's ideal, it's something they're already used to. My older brother is also a mage knight. <laughs> I guess you could say that. We do, actually. Well, that's a long enough break. I should go and help Kara with the search. I know she said we didn't have to, but investigating is part of what I do. I'll meet you back at the inn.
Greetings. I am awaiting the rest of our group at our designated meeting point. Yes, I'm well aware of that information. No. I do not possess the context of Kara to pursue a lead on our next destination, nor are there any familiar channels of leisure for me in the city. The only option available is to reconvene with the rest of the group. Hence, I'm awaiting everyone's return. From my understanding, there is no library or museum. I do not understand your insinuation. Those places are very enjoyable. Describing a carnival. I did not seek out that information, but I believe I may know the location of what you are seeking. I suppose frequenting an establishment such as that could be considered a form of learning. Justine. I am content to merely observe. Interesting choice. Think you have what it takes to win? Hit three out of five shots to win a prize. Perhaps if you attempt it first, I can observe you and then attempt it myself. Chargers are merely a simple tool. I, on the other hand, have extensive magic training. This is nothing more than an exercise in coordination. I will attempt it. That'll be two coins, miss. There are five rounds loaded in there. Have at it.
Not good enough. Good try, miss. But unfortunately... I would like another attempt. As you wish. is clearly defective and not utilizing the energy properly. I will use my magic to prove it to you. It was only a matter of time before I got the correct calculations. Anyway, I shall return in a moment. Nicely done. Well, here's your prize. Congratulations. How did you acquire this? You attempted the game, and you were successful? not an issue for me, as I do not have classes. My research studies. A significant component to becoming a mage caster is research study. That is my focus and basis for participating on our travels. To put 
put it so plainly does a disservice to the amount of effort involved in formally achieving the status of Magecaster. But ultimately, you are correct. It is not so simple. I had taken into consideration furthering the research on temporal rifts and the other parallel worlds. But such an endeavor would have been fruitless without an avenue for further research. Precisely. After departing the Academy, I did ensure that a notification would reach my professors to inform them that I am currently traveling on a research study. These studies are quite numerous and common amidst my peers. Shall we attempt this activity? Your first mistake was to take on the mercenary of drinking. They don't call me the Death Slinger for nothing. from another world or something. You don't even know what a discharger is. Oh yeah? What is it?
Good, you're both here. Did you notice how dark it is outside? We talked to a guard and... Be cool. Maybe they won't notice. Seems like you guys have been spending your time wisely. Yes? You look familiar. Very familiar. I do? Like who? Oh, like this one girl I met recently. We actually started adventuring together. Oh yeah? Tell me more about her. What can I say? She's resourceful, friendly, knows all sorts of history stuff. Oh, and she's fit. Very, very fit. And apparently... Quite limber. Is that so? I wonder what she would think if you told her all of this. That would be too weird! I don't know. I bet she would like it. Like hell you are! Evidently, these two are in no state to assist us in our investigation. And what state is that? are most certainly inebriated. Alright, I think it might be time for you two to call it a night. Oh, I'm, I'm still good. Let's get you back to your room then, okay? You know, on second thought, I think I'm ready to go back. Are you coming? Sweet dreams. Hopefully filled with that limber adventuring girl. <laughs> <laughs>